It is day 77. Yes, day 77. If you're doing the math at home, there's three missing days there. I walked most of the roller coaster back on day 73. And Mrs. Mulligan picked me up at Route 7 Snickers Gap. But the last mile or so that day, no, actually the last three miles that day, right after the thousand mile mark, my right ankle started hurting. The exact same way that my left ankle had when I had to get off trail and rest it. Sort of like shin splints, but on your ankle. And when it happened last time, I had to get off trail for like 10 days because I had walked on it for three more days after it started hurting. So this time when it started with the other ankle, at least I knew not to keep walking on it. So went and got a hotel in Leesburg, Virginia, which is not too far away and rested it, niced it for three days. Went to a couple movies. Saw yesterday, The Beatles, great premise, but could have been a better movie. Had a lot of potential, but it was just okay. And uh, saw the Avengers movie. But anyway, ankle's feeling a lot better now. And I'm finally, hopefully, today I'm getting a late start but hopefully going to do the 20 miles to Harper's Ferry today. You know, it sounds kind of appealing when you get off trail and you're like, okay, I'll rest for a couple days. And so the first day is nice. And then after that, I was just going crazy to get back on the trail. You know, you can only handle so much, you know, eating unlimited junk food and sitting around when you've been walking for the last two or three months outside. So, Sounds appealing at first, but the uh, the glow of it wears off. So I am happy and excited to be back on rocks, <laughs> at least for the next uh, couple hours. Anyway, we'll see after that. I think I'm going to finish the roller coaster here in another mile or two. So that'll be nice. This is Raven Rocks, I'm just a couple miles in, and somewhere back there, about half a mile, I finally, finally left Virginia. Woohoo! Cause for celebration. I want to file a complaint. There was no welcoming sign welcoming me to West Virginia, but according to the trail notes, I am officially in West Virginia for a little while. There's a house with a nice view. Raven Rocks. Raven Rocks, West Virginia. Yes, I do have a pack. Mrs. Mulligan is off visiting friends for a while. She will be back, but I'm definitely adjusting to carrying 25 or 30 pounds again. I got a lot of water too, because there's no water between here and Harpers Ferry really without going off trail. So got a heavy pack, that's, that's a definite adjustment. But I'm finally moving forward. New state, Woohoo! yippee. <laughs> uh, West Virginia now, on to Harpers Ferry in Maryland, that way. So that's it, I officially finished the roller coaster. I didn't even do it in one, one hike. I did 10 miles back on day 73, and then like four and a half today, but I think by my account, it was 13 very steep half mile or mile long ups and 13 very steep downs. And I don't know if it coincided with the humidity or just almost being out of Virginia or mentally or what, but that was, I think, the toughest 14 or 15 miles of the trail so far. Well, I'm just at a road crossing about five miles before Harper's Ferry, so better late than never, even though I've been in West Virginia for probably 10 miles. Better late than never. This 
is sort of like the uh, North Carolina, Tennessee thing. This is like at least the third time I've <laughs> crossed the Virginia, West Virginia state line today. So I think I'm just about a mile or so from Harper's Ferry. And uh, I talked, geez, I think it was way back in Damascus, but I talked before about the fact that, you know, I set little mini goals, and I think everyone does that. You set small goals for yourself, just because Katahdin and Maine seem so far off and just seems un unobtainable at times, you know, just overwhelming. So you have smaller goals, and as they say, you know, eat the elephant one bite at a time. And I talked about the first bite was making it through the Smokies. Boy, that seems like a long time ago. And the second one was to make it to Damascus. And the third bite, and it's a big one, is to make it to Harper's Ferry. And barring disaster in the next mile, I'm gonna do that here in the next hour or so. It's a little after five o'clock. It's not quite halfway, but they call it the psychological halfway point because it's the headquarters for the ATC, the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. And they'll be closed when I get there, but I'll go by in the morning. They take your picture and register you and give you a new number associated with um, when you came through. You know, I started back on March 12th and I think I was 800 and, I don't remember exactly, 860 something. And I'll be one of the few people, I think, that has a higher number than when they started. Most people would have a lower number because so many people had dropped out. But because I had my two false starts there at the beginning, and then the two issues with my ankle, I've spent probably six, seven, seven weeks probably at least, off the trail. I really uh, <laughs> uh, grown into my name Mulligan. Not sure I intended it that way. But anyway, it's not a race, doesn't matter. And uh, it sure is a good feeling to know that I'm gonna make it this far and certainly intend to make it the whole way. But it, uh, like I said, it's not quite halfway, but it feels like it anyway. I've got another 60 or so miles to the halfway point, but it's a great feeling. And I'll be there hopefully another 45 minutes or so. That'll do it for day 77. See you tomorrow in Harper's Ferry. A false ending to day 77. I couldn't, couldn't stop when here I am, I think, at the Shenandoah River. Harbors Ferry, I believe, is the confluence of the Shenandoah and Potomac Rivers. And pretty quickly here, I think I'm gonna cross the Shenandoah. So I've been fairly near for a long time. There it is, I'm going down there and across that bridge, you can just barely see through the trees, I think. Let you know when I get there. the river. Here's the bridge. You see the rafters down there. It's a little overwhelming.